This is Elvin for OG Tech, and welcome to our uh, benchmarking for RTX 270 and RTX 270 Extreme from Aorus. Uh, what we'll be using to benchmark these cards is our 40,000 peso budget build, which has an i5-8400 uh, processor, a Mortar uh, B360 from MSI, and um, currently, what's installed is a uh, GTX 1060 um, graphics card. Uh, we swapped it fr from the GTX 1050 Ti from the original video. Uh, by the way, the links are down below for the, or the original video for the 40,000 peso budget bill. As I mentioned in my previous video, the RTX 270 runs at 1740 MHz and the Extreme Edition runs at 1840. The OC of the Standard Edition runs at 1850 while the Extreme Edition runs as fast as 1900 MHz. When we benchmark the, these cards, we'll be using Unigen uh, software, which essentially will have the same presets for each card. The standard RTX 270 card was run on OC mode, which I mentioned is running at 1840 MHz, which is pretty similar to the Extreme Edition. The results were pretty astounding where the frame rates reached 230 frames per second while the Extreme Edition running at normal 1840 MHz ran at 184 frames per second. The RTX 270 Standard Edition ran at 230 frames per second while the Extreme Edition ran at 182 frames per second. Uh, please note that the Extreme Edition only ran at the out-of-the-box base clock which is 1840 MHz. We decided to use a riser for the Extreme Edition card because the case was a little bit small and we feared that it might uh, damage the card and the motherboard. So please forgive us if uh, you might think it, it might change the results, but uh, it's it's pretty much the same if you run the benchmark on a riser in the uh, standard PCIe slot. So the RTX 270 only has RGB lights on the Gigabyte logo. The fans doesn't have any RGB lights to speak of, while the Extreme Edition has a lot of RGB lights which start at the fans, the logo, the Aorus logo, another Aorus logo here, and the backplate Aorus logo. So both cards have the same uh, input-output ports, which are three display ports, here, here, and here, uh, two, uh, let me see. Actually, just one HDMI and a USB-C for uh, VR. It's the same for the Extreme Edition as well. If you're trying to buy either card, I suggest you check the length of the clearance for your case because it might be when you try to install either card, it might not have enough clearance for the length. These cards have at least three fans so yeah you might not have enough clearance in your case especially for mini ITX builds um, if I were to be asked which card is more bang for the buck I think you should go for the extreme edition directly on paper it might not have enough features but I think the performance boost that's uh, given for the Extreme Edition is well worth your money. All right, thank you for watching our 
benchmark video for the RTX 270 and RTX 270 Extreme from Aorus. Like, subscribe our channel, OG Tech, on YouTube and face our Facebook page. Uh, once again, we're still doing the giveaway for Ray Joan Hoodies. Uh, links are in the description below. Once again, this has been Alvin for OG Tech and I'll see you in the next video.